I'm gonna get right back into it and uh, keep working on this backpack. Editing corn, you know the drill. I'm gonna start by trimming out the various blocks that I need to finish the rest of the outside of the bag. There we go, 34 up to here. Okay, there we go. This canvas fabric, it's uh, considerably stretchier than I had anticipated, uh, which has been interesting. I've been doing this gratitude thing where I think about the little things that bring me joy. Uh, when I cut lemons in half, uh, and put one away. I have this container where it just like perfectly fits in almost every single time. Brings me a little bit of joy. And then the last thing I'm going to trim out is a little square which becomes that little side zipper pocket. All right, <laughs> uh, psych, I actually uh, need a piece of interfacing as well for that little uh, side zipper pocket thingy. Ah, no, I did it the wrong way again. Shh. Okay, I'm a foolish boy. I am making a lot of little refinements to the way I do this backpack compared to uh, the previous version. Like for example, I only used a thin strip where the zipper goes of this interfacing rather than the whole thing like last time. Uh, and also, uh, I'm uh, adding a little touch of uh, gold in here with the zippers. I think it's a nice little pop against the, uh, the black canvas fabric. And uh, I've learned this technique from uh, Professor Pincushion, editing corn. Um, why don't you share the link to the video? It's uh, actually quite helpful. About to oh, sit here. Oh no! I busted a needle. Oh boy. What a day today, huh? What a day. Come on, in you go. All right, there we go. All right, now I can tuck this all in and around the other way. Last time around, I sewed the zipper to this underneath layer here, that is the pocket. But I'm gonna top stitch it on this time around because I found that in the final, like it just gaped open too much here. I gotta do something about this. I can't have this all loose on here, clinking around the whole time. One thing I am gonna do the same though, is put a zigzag stitch on the end here. We try an empty roll. That should at least help a little bit. Yeah, oh, whatever, we'll see. I'm uh, closing up the top and the bottom of the pocket. The last tweak I'm gonna make is, in the last version, the pocket was just flapping around loosely on the inside. Well, you know how I'm also surging all the raw edges? What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna include it in that seam. Like this. Look at that, see, look. It's nicely attached on the edges perfectly incorporated with the side panel. I made this batting and interface piece last week, so let me attach that to the bottom panel now.
Oh yeah. And it was in this moment, Sewing Corn realized he'd made a major mistake. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, editing Corn here. Uh, really, uh, Sewing Corn just realized that he'd forgot to once again sew in the strap that goes over top of the bag, and in these frustrations, forgot to record his audio. Uh, needless to say, simply just undid the seam, stuffed in the strap, sewed it in, boom, done. Back to you, Sewing Corn. Oh boy. Let's try to get back on track here. And the next step is just to surge all the raw edges for the, uh, the outside panels, sew them all together. Um, pretty straightforward stuff, hopefully. I think this could get a little monotonous, so maybe editing corn. Could we, could we have a song right now, you know? Something to calm us down might be a good call. Impressive, wasn't it? Um, one more realization before I sew this whole thing together. Um, I need to make the bit in the front of the bag that holds the clip. A little bit of measuring here first. Let's just faux roll this up. I'd want this piece hanging about here. Nine inches up. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little experiment here first, just to try it before I do it on the final one, because I haven't made one of these before. A line like this. So a little buttonhole. Right, flip that inside there like so. And then I stuff the webbing through that little hole. Yeah, I think that's a, a wonderful solution. Repeat this on the real live version. Eh? Now these straps that connect onto the actual body at the bottom here, let's get them at a 45 degree angle. Give that a nice little zigzag stitch to really hold it in place. Now I can finally attach all these different panels together to make the bag. So I'll start off by pinning it all in place. Now, final, final, final task for today is getting the clips onto the straps. So flip that around, flip that around. Now take this strap 
loop it through, through, down and around. And then, if you recall from last week, take this strap end and tuck it in. Boom, nice and clean, nothing is showing. And then on the other side, strap is tucked away. Ah! And uh, this is what I meant by my lemon perfectly fitting into the container. Squeeze that into my tea. Ooh, ginger, lemon, and honey. Perfect for people like me who have congestion and stuff. Um, and also, I'll finish this next week. This lining, waxing the outside, and finished. And some little details and stuff, but I'll finish it next week. Ooh, I can feel it kicking in already. Expect your nose to run. And don't be shy with the ginger either. Oh, it'll get you good.